people. Jimmy Carter, Knoxville, Tennessee. I met him. I met him last year. Nice man. <coughs> Hi, Jimmy Carter. How are you? Hi, how are you? I Not people. You, you met me last year when we were doing something political. No, I met you last year in the. How was it in London this Hi, Jimmy Carter. They're just beautiful. They're fine here. Beautiful afternoon. Good. Uh, I, you, you, what time is it there? Ten thirty-six. About before I went in, and I would almost advise people not to know too much because there's plenty of interesting things that you will learn as you go along. Yeah. Would you What's the question? Really not to know a whole lot of studying before this to kind of just roll with the flow, and maybe not read a lot and get you know let it let it surprise you. Yeah, if they enjoy going to movies, go and see this one. It's a good movie, but uh, don't try to know too much about it. So I'm not going to give you the storyline, but it's basically. Uh, about a man who makes some pretty dramatic decisions in his life. He has a secret which nobody knows, of course. It wouldn't be a secret if people know. But it motivates him to leave a, an environment which is suffocating him, a politically correct environment. He teaches in a small college town. He's accused of racism by using a racial epithet which he did not use. And uh, in the face of suffocating political correctness, he skedaddles he just gets away from them and he lives his own life he finds a world elsewhere like Coriolanus there is a world elsewhere and that's basically what it is and that's why I was drawn to the part they offered it to me so I said yeah sure I'll do it do you do a lot of reading of scripts or do you have other people do that for you and how many things do you say no to versus what you say yes to well uh, my agent <laughs> would recommend a script to me or not recommend it, and he recommended Hubert Stain. And I go by his recommendations. He will say, uh, I've got this really good script, I think you ought to read it, send it over. Or he will sometimes say, I've got a script which is okay, I, do you want to read it? I say, well, what do you think? He will say, well, no, I'll pass on it. But I, I, he sends me the really good ones. In fact, I almost lost a good one recently. I'm making a movie with Gwyneth Paltrow called uh, Proof. I and I nearly lost out on that one because I got lazy and I didn't want to read anything. I was just going to take a long sabbatical. And, uh, is it very stressful it, though, wondering about, you know, it's such a big decision when you do say yes to something because it takes maybe a year of your life in some cases, maybe not all the time, but it must be pretty stressful deciding, you know, what is right and what do I do? There's no stress at all. How can I possibly be stressful? Beats working for a living. I mean, it's only a movie. After, after all, there's nothing. It's not brain surgery. You know, act, making a movie is not. Uh, doesn't demand genius of any kind. It's not. It's just a movie. So I, I don't allow it to stress me. I mean, I give it my best shot. I'll work hard on it. I'll learn all my text and do what is necessary. But uh, I certainly don't get stressed out by it. Maybe I think stress will come if I overwork and I do too many. And I did yeah. do that until maybe a few years ago. And that, that's not stressful, but it's, um, it wears you down, burns you out a bit. Uh, but I should be so lucky to be offered so much work. I'm, I'm very fortunate, and I take that into consideration every time I get out of bed in the morning. I'm, I'm a very fortunate actor to have been given this length of uh, stay in the United States making movies. It's a wonderful life. Well, I have no complaints at all. Do you, do you really enjoy, do you go to the movie very often yourself? Do I go to the movies myself? Yeah. Uh, I'm ashamed. To, no, not much. Because no, like it's like a busman's holiday. Like going to work for you? I, I get lazy. It's uh, yeah, I just get lazy. I yes, I may go to a movie now and again. I pick them up on video or something like that. Um, no, I don't. Quite honestly, I don't go to many movies. Like a it's a holiday. job. It's a line of work that I do. Yeah. 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 I know one time I talked to you, you had taken a, a really long ride in a car. Is that good for you? Oh, yeah, that's terrific. I did that some years ago, and I, I do it once in a while. Um, my wife and I took off recently. We did about 6,000 miles, I think, or maybe, maybe not much, uh, 3,000 miles. But I take odd routes, like I drove from Pittsburgh, from uh, Salt Lake City to Pittsburgh. But I did it by going right down to the south through Louisiana and up over the Gulf Coast and then up these... So I do those kind of crazy journeys, which uh, take about two weeks. I never make a direct line, and sometimes I don't know where I'm going. 
I think that's the best way to go. That's no pressure. You don't have to be anywhere. Yeah. And uh, I was on my way over to Tennessee, and I saw a signpost which said Dallas outside Oklahoma City. So I turned right instead and ended up down in Louisiana. I did well, Dallas. Yeah, I did the whole of Texas in the day. Plenty of things to do. I'd love to see Anthony Hopkins right. on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry. That would be a lot of fun. That would be good. I'd be a good country person singer, don't you think? I think you'd be excellent. <laughs> I think you'd be excellent at whatever it is you want to do. And until we meet again, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, well, uh, I was going to make yeah, a, I was gonna know, make, I've engaged in a rare act of self-censorship. <laughs> Uh, the show will air on the Bravo yeah. cable network. Good point. Stephanie just mentioned right. Didn't Tyra Banks used to do something? Tyra Banks. Mr. Hopkins. I'm a model. Oh, okay, But this okay, is okay. about, like, launching your own. Hello, Mr. Hopkins. Top model was. Hello. Micro Hi, this is JT at KTLA. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm fine, you know, thanks. Here? Yeah. The idea. Great. I'm going to pass you off to the booth. Have a good day. Let's look at the ratings, shall we, this week. And who is uh, doing particularly well in ratings television last night? Football, obviously, well for. Anthony, this is Todd at KTLA. You hear me okay? Amy. Good night, as always. Yes, I can. Heaven. Great. We will be coming to you next with Sam Rubin. Good night, was KSI Miami. NBC has to be a little okay. disappointed with Joe Average, which is this new reality show.